What's up, Yo. Z? How's it going, man? Good. Can we come in? No. Oh, okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, man. Welcome. Thanks for having us. That's an awesome poster. Is that you? Yeah, thank you. That is me. Uh, it's my one and only surfing magazine poster. Stoked. Threw it up on the wall. Nice, man. Uh, we're just going to be asking some questions. Um, what did you have for breakfast this morning? I had an egg on sourdough toast sandwich. Breakfast sandwich. That sounds That's really Jenna. good. Say hi. Hi, Jenna. Hey, everybody. Uh, do you have a favorite food? Yes, cheeseburgers. Nice. What about a favorite color? Red. And a favorite movie? Uh, Friday. Oh, that's a good one. So yeah, man, you're 26. You've had a pretty good career so far. What would you say your biggest accomplishment has been? Biggest accomplishment would be winning the Vans World Cup of Surfing at Sunset Beach oh, when man. I was 20 years old. 20, that's crazy. How many times have you won at Sunset Beach? I've won four times total at Sunset Beach. Dang. Who's your favorite surfer when you're growing up? Favorite surfer growing up was Andy Irons. Oh man, he's a legend. Yeah. If you could tell your younger self one thing, what would it be? Don't try so hard. <laughs> and what was the first contest you ever won? First contest I've ever won, I think was the Mini Huni contest at Haliba. Nice, man. Do you have any siblings? I have three sisters, all oh, younger. Right on. Do they surf too? They have just started surfing, but they don't do it as much as I do, but they're trying to get in the water now. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, did you always want to be a surfer? I, for as long as I remember, I've always wanted to be a professional surfer. Yes. Oh, nice. It's a great dream. So I heard you play a lot of sports growing up. Like what did you grow up playing? Grew up playing a lot of sports. I played basketball, baseball, soccer, and yeah, I think that's it. Nice, man. It's a nice variety of sports. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the first place you ever surfed? First place I ever surfed was Walls at Waikiki Beach. <laughs> nice. The Grom Zone. The Grom Zone. Which surf spot do you consider your home break now? Um, my home break is Kiwala Basin. Gotcha. Forever and always. Nice. So what age did you start surfing at? Four years old. Oh man. Where's your favorite surf spot uh, on Oahu when it's firing? Bonsai Pipeline. Ooh. And what's the most dangerous wave you think you've surfed? Uh, Jaws. Oh man. Firing. Yep. If you didn't surf, what do you think you'd be doing? Working construction. Nice. Side hustle. Uh, what high school did you go to? Uh, Command Mass Schools. Oh, nice. The Warriors. Yeah. If you had a superpower, what do you think it would be? Teleport. Get I just want to get there. Skip the traveling part straight in the water. <laughs> nice. Uh, do you have any hobbies besides surfing? Uh, watch TV or movies. Nice. What kind of car do you drive? Toyota Tundra 2014. Oh, Yoda gang. Yoda gang. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard you're super into hip hop. Um, can you tell me what your favorite song is right now? Uh, Lemonade by Internet, Money, Gunna, and Nav. Nice, that's a jam. Yeah. Um, what would you say your favorite surf movie is? Favorite surf movie is Endless Summer. Oh, classic. First one. Uh, what's the biggest wave you've ever surfed? Biggest wave I've ever surfed, we're gonna round up here and say it was 20 foot. Hawaiian? But, yes, Hawaiian. Always. <laughs> Can you describe your dream surf trip? Dream surf trip is... Warm water, big barrels, good people. Nice. What about a dream trip without any surfing? Dream trip without any surfing. Haven't gone snowboarding yet, so next trip without surfing is probably going to be snowboarding. Nice, man. Oh, you got to go try soon. Yeah. How old were you when you first qualified for the world tour? I was 23 years old. Oh, man. And what's your favorite break on tour? J-Bay, hands down. Nice. How long before we see you back on tour? Not long at all. <laughs> nice. What's your favorite maneuver right now? Favorite maneuver right now would be layback snap. Nice. And what maneuver have you been practicing the most lately? For rotation alley -oop. I don't know why. <laughs> Just feels good. And who taught you how to surf? 
My dad taught me how to surf. Nice. How did you pick 86 for your WSL jersey number? Uh, well, I never played football, but I told my dad that if I ever did play football, I'd be one better. And his number when he played was 85. So I told him if I ever had to pick a number, it'd be 86. Nice. And when I got on tour, it's my first opportunity. <laughs> That's a great story. How are you liking the vlog life? Vlog life is good. It's keeping me busy, keeping me honest. Nice, man. How come you started a vlog? Um, I just feel like it was a good time to do it. I had a lot of spare time and, you know, I'm doing a lot of cool stuff and I might as well vlog it. Yeah, man. You gonna do something crazy when you hit 86,000 subscribers? Of course. I mean, you guys let me know. What do you guys want to see me do when I hit 86,000 subscribers? <laughs> Leave a comment below. That's a nice challenge. Uh, what do you think your worst wipeout ever was? Worst wipeout ever. Worst wipeout ever was surfing a big wave or a big outer reef on the North Shore called Himalayas. It was like the biggest waves I've ever seen in my life. And I caught one and I fell at the bottom and the wave broke directly on my back and I thought my body split in two pieces. Dang, that sounds but gnarly. I'm still, I'm still good. <laughs> uh, if you could redo any moment in your whole career, what do you think it would be? Redo any moment in my whole career would probably be taking so long to win nationals because I was bald till I was about 15 years old. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what are your ethnicities? I am Hawaiian, Chinese, and Caucasian. Nice. Can you say something in Hawaiian? Maki maki ao e hele ikahe Nice. What does that mean? That means I like go surf. <laughs> what was your best heat ever? Best heat ever was a heat I had at Bell's Beach uh, against Connor Coffin. And I think I had like an 18 point total or 19 point total. I had two nines, which was the highest point total I've ever had um, in a CT event. Nice. What do you think your worst heat ever was? My worst heat ever definitely was uh, the last heat I surfed on tour was against John John at Pipeline. Full blown shocker. Perfect pipe. I couldn't make a single barrel. Too nervous. Too much thinking. Just blew it. Gotcha. Uh, what's your favorite motivational quote? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so shooters gotta shoot. <laughs> uh, are you binging any TV shows right now? I am. Me and Jenna have been watching a lot of The Office, which oh, is a man. really good show to binge because there's so many episodes, so it just never ends. <laughs> Dwight Schrute, classic. Yeah. What was your favorite class in school? Favorite class in school? That's a hard one. Um, it was probably social studies of some sort. Nice. Uh, what's the last book you read? Uh, Relentless by Tim Grover. Oh, nice. Do you meditate? I do. I try to meditate. I think it's meditating. I'm just sitting there. <laughs> uh, do you have a pet peeve? Uh, melted wax on a surfboard. Oh, everyone hates that. Yeah. So you're born and raised here in Hawaii. Um, what do you think the biggest lesson you learned from growing up here is? Respect. Gotta have respect and nice. share because living on an island, you gotta share everything with everyone. There's only limited resources. And what does aloha mean to you? Hello, goodbye, everything in between. Aloha is life. Nice. And what's the worst injury you've ever gotten? I broke my back when I was 15 years old and I was out of the water for about five months and I was in a back brace for three months. Jeez. So that sucked. How'd you recover from that? Um, well, I was in the back brace and then I came out of the back brace, had to do a couple months of rehab and um, that's really when I started picking up doing training for surfing and kind of keeping my body healthy and um, do the things I need to do that'll help me surf better and help me to surf more and not get injured. Nice. What's the first thing you want to do when you come home after like a long trip? 
Ooh, first thing I want to do when I come home is usually get a poke bowl or some type of local food. Ooh, nice. That sounds delicious. Yeah. What's your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure. Cookies. Ooh. Love cookies. Uh, where's the best place to get Hawaiian food in your opinion? Best place to get Hawaiian food. Ooh. Helena's. Mm. which was right near the house that I grew up in, in Kali. Um, but right now, I like to go to Highway Inn. Nice. Where can you find the best spam to be? Oh, best spam to be John Store in Nuwana, if it's still there. <laughs> Where's the last place you visited? Last place I visited was Indonesia. Nice. What's the best trip you've ever been on? I think the last trip to Indonesia was probably the best trip I've ever been on. Most mm. fun. Nice. Those vlogs are awesome. Amazing. Would you ever live anywhere besides Hawaii? I would never live anywhere besides Hawaii. Hawaii will always be my home. Always. Nice. If you could tell your younger self one thing, what would it be? Uh, to take your time. Nice. Do you ever get nervous? Yes. I'm always nervous. It's all about calming the nerves. <laughs> What's up, babe? Wanna help me answer some questions? Let's do it. <laughs> Any mantras you repeat before a heat? Strength and rhythm. Nice. Um, so I noticed you're wearing a necklace. Uh, can you tell me what it means? Yeah, it's the Hawaii coat of arms. Uh, my mom got it for me for my birthday. Awesome. And I also noticed you have a lot of tattoos. Um, how many do you have? How many do I have there? One, One two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Seven tattoos. <laughs> and out of those seven, which one is your favorite? Uh, this one's my favorite by far. It's a traditional Hawaiian cacao. So it's actually my family genealogy as far as it can go back. And yeah, it's just the first traditional tattoo I got. And it's called uh, this exact one is called the Alaniho, just the, where it is on the body and what it represents. Nice. Jenna, which one's your favorite? My favorite, I think, is his sleeve. <laughs> nice. Um, how many surfboards do you have? Right now, I have about 20 surfboards. Nice. Can Too you show us them? Too many to count, but yeah. Go show them in the garage. All right. All right. So, uh, who would you say your favorite athlete is that isn't a surfer? Um, Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace. Oh, nice. Have you seen a Lakers game recently? Last, I actually did see a Lakers game, but it was back in 2014. I think it was one of the last games Kobe actually played, so very fortunate. Yeah. What's your greatest success outside of surfing? Greatest success outside of surfing? Graduating high school. <laughs> 2012. Uh, where's your next trip to? Next trip is not going to be for a while because it's the winter time here. And I'm looking to stay home and stack some clips on the North Shore. Nice. So I know you've been doing a lot of foiling in your vlogs. Mm -hmm. um, when did you start doing that? Uh, I started foiling about two years ago, I think. But I'm really into it. It's just good cross training. It's just something fun to do. Nice. You taught yourself how to do it? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I taught <laughs> myself how to do it. I mean, the boys were doing it the whole time, Josh Moniz and Seth, so I just kind of jumped in on the program. Nice. And just haven't stopped since. Nice, man. What's the craziest foil run you did? Craziest foil run I've done is a free solo from Allen Davis to Sandy Beach. Oh, man. So a, far, so far. That's a distance. So we have less than three months left of 2020. Uh, what are your goals before this year ends? First goal is to foil from Allen Davis to Diamond Head. Dang. That's a big goal. Well, we'll see. Another goal is to run 26 miles. And another goal, if it happens, is obviously to win the Triple Crown. Fingers crossed they might run it. Nice. Those are great goals. Yep. Will you be sharing them along uh, on the vlog? Uh, yes, of course. I'll bring you guys along for the ride and 
we'll see how many of these goals I can knock out. Nice. Any tips for people who are trying to learn how to surf? Tips for people learning how to surf. Just have fun. The best surfer is the one having the most fun. Nice. What about your attitude in about life in 2020? My attitude about life is slow it down, enjoy, stay home. Nice. All right, well, we made it to the garage and we made it to the 86th question. We made so, it. So, yeah. What are you gonna do for the rest of the day? Looks like it. By the looks like it, I should probably clean my garage. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, man, well, so, thank you for having us. I'll probably be busy this afternoon, so you guys might have to get out of here. All right, well, I appreciate you answering the questions and uh, yeah, man, have a great one. Right on, cheers.